Hello YouTube, Primeval Evil here from Green Bay Outdoors. Uh, doing an episode from inside the house. Uh, it is the 20th of December. Uh, not too cold right now. It's at actually uh, freezing, which is 32 degrees. Um, but a bit of snow on the ground. A uh, lot of issues with vehicles. and um, I didn't want to do anything in the garage. So, going to do a... Uh, uh, review of the past knives that I've refurbished, um, purchased, and maybe some extra. We'll see. Uh, the first knife that I, re I refurbished is a Gator Machete. Uh, kind of made it into a uh, uh, one of the old 70s to 80s steak or uh, uh, cutting knives that the barbecue bit boys use um, and after removing the coating I realized my mistake and now it's coated in shortening to prevent it from rusting and also to make sure that uh, it's uh, usable for food camping whatever the handle is uh, just standard 2x4 um, 3 8 inch metal rod the coloring you see is just from using a torch to to burn it a little bit and then it's going to spray urethane on it. Um, I did make a sheath for it, um, which I did coat with boiled um, beeswax just to make sure it's a little water resistant. But I do have a uh, uh, drainage hole and it's a high maintenance item, but you know, it, like again, it's just for camping. Alright, the next item was a farce, so to speak. Something that's all done, and I wanted to do it, and uh, I wanted it to be more versatile as far as uh, what I can do with it. And I took a putty knife, um, a very uh, specific putty knife, and I designed a uh, skinny knife out of it. So not only do we have the curved blade here, I have a uh, blade here to cut through the skin to get it started. Um, I left this here for more of a you know thumb rest. Uh, I am not going to change the handle because you know that's just perfect for uh, skinning. Nice little tool. Uh, I think it's you. I can use it for. Uh, small, medium uh, game. Again, I made the sheets for it. Uh, the next knife was a guidesman knife, uh, my daughter's favorite. And pretty much the only thing I did to it was uh, I replaced the handle on it because uh, it's a good knife in itself, nice and small. It's got a good convex grind to it, which means the uh, but useful for kitchen work, uh, the vegetables would fall away from it without sticking. Um, the handle was a um, fiberglass uh, plastic composite, uh, very hollow, very lightweight, and I just didn't like it. So um, I took uh, some um, pine. In fact, this is pine root, and uh, word of advice, don't use pine root, ever. But still, I have pine root. I did use some red oak stain on it just to bring out the uh, the markings on it. And then again, it's a spray, uh, probably urethane, to seal it up because with this being so porous, it would soak up water really quickly. But uh, very nice knife uh, uh, for kitchen use, what have you. The next... <laughs> The next knife was a joke. Uh, a buddy of mine at work was joking around about a butter knife. Is it for butter or is it a knife? Well, it is now both. So I took out the teeth. I gave it a nice sharp edge. It's still a butter knife as far as the handle goes. Uh, I did do a uh, sheath for it, but Again, this is just a joke, just a farce, and uh, I don't think I'll ever use it for anything except if I have to go out to dinner at medieval times or something. 
Uh, the next one, it's actually not a knife, it's more of a machete. It's the uh, uh, refurbished uh, Bear Grylls uh, Compact Meringue. Um, I'm pretty sure everybody's familiar with the design of the Bear Grylls Meringue by uh, Gerber. Uh, but I like the, uh, I like a very specific design and this is it here. As you can see, I took out the huge shoulder here and I uh, decreased the material here. And the handle was more of a, um, oh, I can't think of the, the, the term, Malaysian uh, design. I do have to do some refining on the handle. I'm not happy with it in its entirety. It does function. I've used it extensively and uh, it has a very nice balance to it. This is the other side of it. It is a very thin tang. Not quite a rat tail, but um, uh, a hidden tang. But still, I like it. Uh, my favorite project so far as far as refurbishing a uh, tool. Um, I'm still using the original Bear Grylls uh, sheath for it, only to have some place to put it in until I can come up with a uh, uh, either wooden or leather sheath for it. Uh, now we're going to get into uh, my purchased non refurbished blades. First one is, of course, uh, the uh, uh, Mova knife. Uh, I think this was the Oh, hefty, gigantic, or, uh, you know, the, the one had a thick handle. Very good grip. Very nice. Uh, I love this. I love the sheath. Unfortunately, it does break. So, I do plan to now uh, replace it with a leather sheath, but I want to use this for an insert because it sits... Nice and snug, doesn't move, let's use your thumb to release it. Uh, other knife, which is the most expensive knife that uh, uh, thankfully my wife allowed me to buy, about 160 bucks, is the um, CDS MV58, which is a Spanish material, made in Spain. Um, I have done very minimal modifications to this. In fact, the only thing I've done was I ground the uh, teeth here, where the uh, uh, grip goes for close work, only because it was very square and very... Mm, painful to the skin but as far as that goes that's pretty much it uh, no changes I did change the lanyard out but that is what it is but I like this one is it is a flat grind um, it does take some getting used to it's a very larger uh, Scandinavia grind as far as the length goes so you just got to get used to it a little bit. Um, the sheath, though, is what I was really impressed with. Uh, very high quality. Um, tooled and oiled leather. Um, it does come with a uh, whetstone, which is a natural whetstone. Um, it did does come with a uh, fire steel. And I put on an elastic band to keep it in place. I also came up with an extension for it um, just so it rests more comfortably uh, on the hip. But uh, I did a prior video on this as far as review goes. Take a look. Um, I do recommend this if you're into a very hefty uh, knife for going out and uh, camping, whatever. Uh, it is a very thick spine. 
uh, I've baton with this quite extensively, and I cannot complain. There's been no nicks, uh, no rolls of the material. Um, in fact, I don't think I've ever polished this since I've had it. The last knife that I was purchased was a uh, kind of a gold mine find. Um, I've been looking for a neck knife. I wanted to make this guidesman my neck knife, but uh, I didn't have a uh, means to have it hang upside down and not fall out. So going through Walmart, uh, the discount aisle, uh, there was this neck knife sitting there. I think it was about $12, $13, no more than $15. Uh, it came with a uh, uh, a Kydex preformed sheath. Uh, it's a very small, and a neck knife does not have to be big. But uh, I came up with this uh, minimalist from Foltz Designs. As you can see, it's very small. It's a three finger knife. But with this little lanyard at the end, it does give me something to hold on to with my pinky so I don't drop it. I've used it uh, quite a bit for minimal work because it's a neck knife, it's minimalist. And uh, I kind of love it. And this is something that I do hang from my neck. And I couldn't be more happy with it. Very small, very compact, very versatile. Uh, you can open a package with it. You can uh, cut some uh, uh, food for cooking with it, veggies, meat. Uh, you can actually do some uh, feathering, feather sticks with it. Uh, it is a uh, uh, a slight convex grind, but uh, very nice tool, very handy. And uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment. Uh, if you have any suggestions for other uh, uh, budget knives. Um, I do have a, a in the works a uh, refurbished uh, Ozark Trail uh, Barang Machete in the works. I'm making it into a cleaver uh, with the season so cold. It's kind of put on hold right now. Uh, but uh, I'll have that out as soon as I can You know, work on it. And finish it and show how it goes. Again, thank you guys for watching.